today in Mashaba Abaco is the fifth day of August 2021. I guess the American authority must have been listening to WCAY when they broadcast that damning report on national television that the Americans think that that thing they know that this government this FNM government is as corrupt as the last PLP administration and for some instances this FNM government is more corrupt than the last PLP administration I want Dr. Livingston Marshall to pay attention. This man must look at what happened to Donald Trump push the lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. He was disbarred for the same thing that Rudy Giuliani did while Trump was president. I don't like to talk too much about Trump because I like Trump. He's a bulldog. But Dr. Livingston Marshall, if they do an investigation on you for the people that you have corrupted with Baker's Bay money, there's no way you wouldn't spend 10 to 20 years in Fox Hill. You corrupted from the police, the courts, the uh, immigration, uh, the ports, every aspect of Bahamian life in Abaco. When they see Dr. Livingston Marshall comes with that Baker's Bay money to corrupt, they gladly accept the corruption. It is evident that he could go to the police and demand that the police charge and lock up Kai Mills and bring two lawyers Dr. Marshall bring two lawyers in to make sure that Kai go to Fox Hill just because I speak to the criminality that goes on in Baker's Bay when Kai speaks about 25 million Everybody supposed to pay attention. Twenty-five million dollars in the first year of this weightless FNM administration. One of the richest man in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, Brent Simonet, could fly into Nassau as a sitting minister and the job and the portfolio that he held. He was the minister responsible for bringing investment to Abaco in the Bahamas. Brent Seminet's first job was to take investment from Abaconians, people that had a mortgage, people that had children in private school. He sent 18 of them home. Has he sat down? as the minister responsible for investment and immigration and give the contract took the contract from Albreeze Ferry sent 18 Abaconians home never rehired any of them and edged out a contract for him and the prime minister second and third shareholders of Bahamas Fast Ferry. Any other country in this hemisphere, both the Honorable Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, Dr. Minnis, and Brent Simonet would have had to sign, resign forthwith. The Americans knows this. You think Baker's Bay uh, an American company 
on the American go to Michael Melman, the CEO of Baker's Bay, and ask him what Kai Mills already know. Did Minister Brent Simonet sit down and awarded himself a contract while he was the sitting member, an elected member of the FNM? Did y'all, Baker's Bay, give Brent Simonet a 25 Five million dollar contract to run passengers back and forth from Baker's Bay to Marshaba whilst Brent Simonet was the sitting elected member parliament under the FNM did this happen of course Mike Melman is an American you can say yes he awarded himself a contract. He didn't sit down like his portfolio said he should bring investment to some other Bahamians or Bahamian company. No. Brent Simonet sat down and signed on the dotted line for him to receive $25 million. And this is on record as the biggest private individual contract that has happened in Abaco since the FNM has came to power. This is unbelievable. This is unheard of. This could only happen in Abaco because of the corruption from the Prime Minister right down. In the American report, it states that this Prime Minister put in place measures to stop the corruption. He campaigned on corruption and he happened to be the most corrupt of all of them. We have not known yet how much money they're stolen from the hurricane relief. It is on record that Baker's Bay have given enough money to rebuild 47 homes from uh, November 2019. It is on record to date the 5th of August 2021, two years later, Abaconians have not benefited from that same company, Baker's Bay, that Brent Simonet got $25 million for him and the Prime Minister's Bahama Fast Ferry. It is evident that all the monetary fund that is being collected, the people that the money is supposed to go to, have not received $1. It is evident that people wanted to donate Bill and Hurricane Shelter. And because the money wasn't going in the FM pockets, nothing has happened. It is evident that they campaign on the widespread corruption of the what money by the Progressive Liberal Party. To date, they have collected more money in four years than the, F, than the PLP has collected. And to date, they have not tell the Bahamian people where is the VAT money. Kai wants to know because Kai cares where is the VAT money.